Thursday, August 6th at 7 p.m. in the MLS's back tournament semi final stage. Big game, Steve! Big goals! Tonight's show is brought to you by Allianz. Alina Health, official orthopaedic partner of Minnesota United. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota, better together, you and Blue. And M Health Fairview, please protect yourself and others by wearing a mask when in public spaces. We all have to do our part, we're yours, Minnesota. Hello there and welcome to our match recap show. Callum Williams, as always, alongside Kindred D. St. Aubin. Kindred, the loons are flying at the moment into the semi-finals of the competition. Before we talk about that, though, let's go back and revisit what was a fabulous evening for Minnesota United, scoring so many goals at the moment. And so with that in mind, we thought we should bring on one of the newest goal scorers for Minnesota United. Ja'Cory Hayes joins us. Ja'Cory, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Jacory, thanks very much for joining us. So before we talk about what was a fabulous evening for Minnesota United, talk us through that moment when Adrian Heath told you that you were starting for the first time for Minnesota United. Where were you and how did you react? Uh, yeah, we kind of went over the lineups the day before the game and kind of, you know, kind of stepped through what our game plan is, what preparing for San Jose. And uh, when he said my name in the lineup, it's, uh, you know, you're not trying to show too much emotion. You're still in. You're still in the training session. You're still trying to learn what the team's going to do for the next day. And um, you know, it's. I was. I was really happy. And, um, you know, all the hard work that I've been doing this season's kind of paid off. But you know, it's still time to focus and get the job done and help the team win. So it's a, a quick celebratory moment. But then you're you're back to focusing on the job at hand. And Kindra, it was a compelling evening for Minnesota United, perhaps their most complete performance of the tournament thus far. The goal scoring started through Robin Lerd again. Yeah, I think it was a really important night for Minnesota United and for you, especially Ja'Cory. But I just look at the, the way this attack kind of came to fruition in this match I and mean, this kind of never say die mentality for the Loons in this one with some of these balls in. Can you talk us through this goal and specifically this set piece opportunity, the ball gets back out to Hassani. He plays at the back post, and Jose Aha knocks it back to the other side of the goal, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. And then a finish by Robin Lou, just exactly in the right spot at the right time. Is this kind of a, 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 a system with Adrian Heath where he talks about never giving up on the play, getting on the back post, everything going right in all the right places for Minnesota on this one? Yeah, we seem to be very dangerous at the moment from set pieces. You know, Jan's been putting in some good balls, some good service right at the top of the six. And then, uh, you know, like you said, Hassani put in a good second ball effort. And it seems like uh, Jose is a ball magnet sometimes in there. I don't know how it always finds, Cross always finds his head. So um, when, when you float in there, you're just kind of taking a gamble. Like, you know, it won't always fall, fall to your feet, but the times it does, you can score a goal and Robin stayed alive and was able to pounce on it. Yeah, like you said, it's a, a great moment. It helped us get uh, get the first first goal of the game and, you know, set the tempo and set the set how we were going to play for the rest of the match. Well, and you said it, setting the tempo in the first goal, always so important. And then the second goal not coming long after that. And Adrian, he talks about the importance of goals and goals can change games. And not only can it change games, but I think it can just change confidence. So talk us through this situation and how you found yourself in that position to finish that opportunity and kind of that wide play, the ball in, but again, opportunistic, not giving up on the play, and then your emotions right after that finish. Yeah, I think uh, where Ozzy touched it wide to Asani, he kind of cuts in on his left. And, um, you know, I was just trying to make a run through. Maybe he slips me in, or maybe I just, they're doing the man marking system. So I just drag a body out of the middle, and maybe Hassani keeps dribbling and takes a shot. And uh, he, he shot it, went through the guy's legs, and the keeper kind of spills it a little bit. Uh, in the moment, I was like, oh, it's going right to Ethan, like perfect goal. Uh, and then the center back kind of touched it before him, and luckily it touched it right into my path. So I was able to, you know, get, get my foot on there and sneak it in near post. And uh, yeah, like you said, it was, um, I was very happy, you know, don't score too many goals. Um, but I was, I was very, very excited. And I was like, you know, I got to celebrate with the boys, got to celebrate to the corner. Um, and I think it's just an awesome moment that the whole team was there and just kind of uh, celebrating super hard. You know, after that, it's like, all right, guys, we got to focus. It's still only 21 minutes into the game. You know, still got to, you know, still got a lot of match to play. But um, yeah, it was it was a very very awesome moment. 
From a player who hasn't seen much time on the pitch this season, how difficult is it to find yourself in a situation where you can step right into a game and not miss a beat as far as the fluidity of the play, the attacking four? I mean, you find yourself in the perfect position to finish that chance. Is it difficult to kind of step in and find that chemistry or do you feel it pretty quickly in this match? Uh, it, it is very difficult and then, um, you know, it's uh, I've, it's something that I've tried to work on this season. And, you know, it's year four for me, so it's definitely something difficult in my earlier seasons. Um, uh, and with uh, with with Dallas, um, just kind of finding that rhythm if you're not playing in games. Um, so it, it is a tough task, and I've, I've been very excited that I was able to uh, fill in so seamlessly, and I, I feel confident at the moment. And, uh, yeah, it's it's, a, it's it takes a lot of work of being confident at training sessions and just working hard and hoping that when the time comes, you're ready to take it. So uh, I'm just glad that it's, it's worked out so well so far. Yeah, I love the celebration and going to the corner flag to the guys at, you know, the group of you who 